Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings. Ali Shamo here. Welcome outdoors. It's freezing weather. I can say effectively that I'm freezing my <laughs> off today. But hey, it's windy today. And we can see the level 8 wind resistance on Hubson Ace Pro will do any good or not today. And also in this cold weather, if it will fly or not. So let's get this ace pro ready and first off let's see if it will fly very well if I have any glitches any issues any problems or not and if it is flying very well and there are no issues no problems i'm just gonna fly it around a little bit and take some shots i do have my ace se here as well so i might be able to give that a flight if it cooperates with me and uh take some snapshots and videos so that we can compare both of the cameras so now Wish me luck and let's hope they will fly without showing any glitches. Okay, so everything is all stock right here. I'm gonna turn on the radio and turn on the quad. I might need to calibrate the compass, which of course I'm willing to do. So let's just put it down here. Say okay to Hex Hubson 2.0. I know everything. I know, I know. Please don't ask me for any upgrades. The compass needy readings are abnormal. Please uh, calibrate the compass. Okay, so one moment. I'll just go here. Start calibration. I'm just gonna rotate and down okay it says calibrated and the error is gone I think the camera is just fine okay all right so all GPS lock and it says obstacle avoidance is off so either well it says please take off us so here goes nothing people bismillah rahman rahim okay it got up and look how it's tilted by it's holding its position fighting the winds and i didn't turn on that uh, anti-wind thingy yet okay obstacle avoidance is turned on i'm not gonna test it in me i'm gonna test it in the wall first so stopped look at that full forward it's not going backward obstacle avoidance testing i'm going full backward as you can see and it is stopped i'm still holding full back very nice obstacle avoidance is working now i can run it into me and it is stopped at a very very good distance nice and safe distance that is superb that is awesome all right it's time to see what the camera is shooting like uh, i'm just gonna take a picture right here and see it's set on auto okay single shot jpg format okay so let's bring the quad closer as close as it want to be while you know obstacle avoidance is on and i'm gonna take a picture yes it is make a pose right it's it's just moving a whole lot in the winds okay those were the pictures now let's shoot a video and it's shooting a video now so let's just fly it around there's no side obstacle avoidance so we have to be very very careful gonna climb up it's 
not going any forward. Now it's going. There are trees. I don't know how far it is, but it's not detecting the trees. Let's see. Started to detecting, but it's still going forward, and I'm afraid it will actually hit the tree. Gladly. Now, there's a tree behind it. I don't know, that was, you know, ground perspective. There wasn't a tree behind it. But I am not confident at the moment if it will detect the trees or not. So let's, let's give it a try. I'm just going to stop recording the video and see what we are recording at. 4K 30 FPS, 100 bits. Bit rate is 100 MPB, Mbps. What if I do it 200 Mbps? Okay, I just did 200 Mbps. Portrait mode. Now nah, we don't want that. And we have style, natural, saturation, contrast, edge lock, night scene mode. HDR is on. If I turn off the HDR, it gets slightly more brighter. Okay, so I don't know. Now we are shooting 200 Mbps. Okay, and one moment you have to press and hold it's recording now I'm gonna go forward and try to get close to the trees let's get some altitude oh it did not detect look how close it is to the trees and it's still going forward Okay, Hubson, you gotta fix this, man. You gotta fix this. It is still going forward, though it's detecting there's an obstacle in front of it. So I'm just gonna climb up a bit. Alright. Uh, get some shots around here. You're looking at a video 200 megabits Mbps rate, 4K 30 frames per second. Lots of wind up there, man. The wind is even moving me. I can see that. Look at that. I don't see any horizon tilt. That's nice. That's nice. I turned around a lot. I don't see any horizon tilt. Look at that. Looks very straight. Okay? So that was a clip. 200 megabits per second. So I'm gonna stop it and set the bitrate back to 100. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of wind, man. This is holding well, and I haven't turned on the extra wind kind of thing, you know, that uh, anti-wind mode. As you can see, it is still off here. So if I turn it on, it will have better resistance, but use more battery. Right now, I don't feel any problems, so I'm just gonna keep it that way. Alright, so this is this. I'm bringing it down. And we'll fly it around. Okay, so I got some pictures while it's hovering for about 3-4 minutes. 55% battery left. Now let's test the speed in uh, I didn't press anything, I just had a vibration. Let's test the speed in uh, normal mode. All right? So, I'm just going to record my screen with the gloves. So, the screen is recording and I'm going full forward in normal flight mode. 6.7 meters per second. 7 meters per second. That's against the wind, right? And now, ooh, look at that, how much wind is there, man. I'm coming with the wind, okay? And I'm doing effectively 7.4, 7.7. Yeah, 7.9 meters per second. All right, that was nice. 
So I'm just gonna go a little higher and I'm gonna switch to expert mode. Obstacle avoidance is off. Going forward. More angle pulled. It's losing altitude very badly. But it detected the terrain somehow. I don't know, I didn't see the speed man, but it detected the terrain. So let's just climb up. Climb rate also turned more now. And I'm just gonna come in this direction so I don't hit anything with the wind. All right. Fifteen meters per second. Fifteen point one. That's a nice speed right there. So I'm just gonna record a video segment. Go forward again against the wind. I didn't see last time because we were losing altitude so badly. Thirteen point two. I have USB disconnected glitch just now. 12.7 against the wind. Okay, and I'm coming back now. 45% battery left. So, let's return to home. Return to home. While I stop recording the video and stop recording my screen. Okay, so, so far, Ace Pro is actually doing very well. It's back. I took off from right here. That's what I remember. I took off from here. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my landing pad. Otherwise, I could have tested the apron landing feature. But I'll leave it to next time. I didn't have good luck with the apron landing feature until now. So we'll test that next time. Let's see the deviation at this point today. So I took off from here and do see the winds. There are a lot of winds today. And it's landing over there, which is like one, two, let's say 2.53 meters deviation I still have half battery here so let's fly it again and test some you know auto features so 40% battery switch to normal mode take off auto take off controls on the yaw a little sluggish Look at that, the yaw is very sluggish in normal mode. I have turned off the obstacle avoidance. See, it's going sideways, it's slightly, with full sticks turned. Okay, so switch to expert mode. Now, I have proper yaw and proper turns banking. Very good. That's the mode that I like, man. Superb. You're watching it, it's flying very well. But in normal mode, it's sluggish. And of course in film mode, let's say, let's just put it in film mode, hold on. Normal, expert, film mode. And I'm going forward. Full throttle forward. I should be able to get three meters per second. Yeah, 2.9 meters per second against the wind and please turn around very sluggish to turn in film mode which is of course natural because you have to be very very slow 2.6 meters per second 2.9 meters per second okay so I still have 33% battery I can do a panorama I mean point of interest let's try that so I'm just gonna stay right here in the middle okay gonna go to orbit mode set transmitter location yes and altitude have to be five meters as well 
Come on, that sucks, man, really. Anyway, execute, hide it, record a video. Come on, come on, come on, come on, record a video. Come on. All right, it's recording the video now. Doing a nice panorama. I mean, orbit, but it went very far here. Coming this way against the wind now. All right. And very close to me. Definitely not seven meter radius. Has lost the radius there. But given the winds, I would be nice to Hobson. It's actually doing very well. I still have a kind of orbit I can show to the world. <laughs> All right. So this is this. I'm gonna stop recording the video. Battery level 25 percent, and I'm gonna stop the orbit. I'm gonna keep flying because I want to see from my flight log how long it flew on a single battery on this freezing day and do remember when it's freezing the batteries are not gonna give you good time 24% battery let's give it a punch to go up and take one or two shots pictures so we can see how things are the weather is really bad I'm sorry but pictures are not gonna turn very good pictures are not gonna turn very good all right I climbed pretty high you can see that to take a picture I have 19 person battery and it says there's a lot of GPS interference at this very point it always says a lot of GPS interference all of the Hapsan drones do this at this very point but I haven't had this issue with DJI maybe this is an anti Hapsan point <laughs> anti hubson point in Chujo. remember right there this area is a lot of gps interference most possibly because we are close to those uh, high voltage you know super high voltage power lines so it's always a gps interference for hubson drones and we can effectively call it the anti hubson area still flying still flying i have 16 percent battery left i did have a return to home notification which I cancelled because I want to see how long I can keep flying until it lands oh cancel return cancel return please I don't want to return to home cancel return I just want to fly it around oh there's a barge going I could have chased it but I need to test this battery so I'll let it go and chase it later maybe you still chase it because it has 10 kilometer range right we'll do it on the second battery I still have second fully charged battery so I'm just flying it around flying flying okay not giving it any chance 12% battery left I better keep it close otherwise I have to walk farther to pick it up I'm very lazy to do that could have been a nice exercise in wind on this freezing day. Serious low battery warning. Automatically will slow down. Okay. I don't see anything slowing down. Maybe it should auto land. 10% battery. Let's not torture the battery, people, because I might damage the battery. So I'm just gonna land it. Okay. Now, I'm gonna please see, one moment, the screen recorder, record the screen. And I'm, I'm gonna show you the battery levels. 
see 3.5 3.6 3.6 one cell showing 3.5 okay so let's go to flight log and hold on what hap what's happening okay so I did right here 9.4 minutes 9.04 uh 4.53 and 7.45 so that's my math is really terrible man uh <laughs> that's 16 17 18 19 20 21 on this very very cold day let's change the battery and test some more features just take off And I'm gonna turn to this side. I don't know if it's snow falling or raining, but I'm just gonna stay here a little bit to test more. So right now I'm here and I'm recording the video, okay? And you can see when I touch the screen, suddenly everything goes bright, right? Okay, what if I touch the screen down here? It goes darker, so this this is some kind of lock for the I mean for the exposure but not focus as you can see everything is on very nice focus right it's kind of exposure lock I believe I will confirm from Hobson uh, what is this but there is no uh, kind of focus it's just fixed focus Before something starts, like snowfall or rain, let's test. Uh, I, I wish I brought my electric scooter, but it's too too cold to ride, man. I'll be I'll be frozen. So let's just do follow mode, active track. I understand. Ooh, now you see here have a trace, orbit. Trace or parallel? So I will say trace and this. Click go to open. All right. And let's run. Nice exercise. And I will run fast this side. Can you still track me? I'll run as fast as I can. And I'll turn quickly and it lost me it lost me so let's try again so I'm just gonna go follow active track and say orbit this time and trace angle is too horizontal let's climb a bit more go now it's doing the orbit and it should track me so I'm just not gonna run I'm gonna give it a slack I'm just gonna walk Ooh, obstacle ghost in the air so I'm just gonna walk and see if it will orbit around me or not uh -huh. now you have to fly fast and it's <laughs> flying parallel is unable to do uh, <laughs> it says target loss it, it, it was unable to do the orbit it did it for some time so I'm just gonna stop recording this and say parallel okay it just disappeared again there's a kind of glitch here in uh, follow active track it just kind of disappears when it cannot understand anything so I'm just gonna go this parallel uh, parallel go okay this time I did parallel and I'm gonna go but it's just doing the same trace it's not parallel parallel means it should just fly sideways you know so it's just doing trace and it lost the target as well I'm sorry I didn't shoot the video 
but you can see easily that the parallel actually didn't work now once again I'll just put the quad here put the camera down go to following mode active track parallel draw a rectangle and go now it should fly sideways I'm recording the video you can see it should fly sideways but it's not it's just coming behind me trying to follow me from behind so Hubsung you have to program this right I'm just gonna stop this it's kind of raining I'm gonna take off my gloves and try to get a zoom shot all right because that's what is an important feature right here so let's keep the quad oh man it's cold let's keep the quad here record the video all right and I'm gonna zoom in look at that 2.5x zoom and it's properly in center before it used to come zoom and then move to the sideways on Xeno Mini Pro but now it's pretty nice okay good so that was nice let's uh, zoom in to some other objects hold on let's say that barge going over there so I'm just gonna go zoom in oh man it's really freezing oh, my hand is freezing all right and zoom out okay stop recording I'm gonna take a picture with a zoomed in shot so this is a picture so you can see how far I am now I'm gonna zoom in and we have 6x zoom awesome and I'm gonna take a picture one two okay that's a picture let's go to 3x zoom take a picture okay nice zoom out completely so zoom shots done let me put on my glove man it's really cold and it is I don't know rain kind of rain and a snowfall I don't know what is this we still have hyperlapse waypoint following creative video line fly these things I will test later So those I will test later now I have a 50% battery I'm just gonna fly it forward and get a shot get a feel of slight range okay so recording the video man I'm flying in slight rain I'm flying a Hubson Ace Pro in slight rain light rain so it is flying and raining without any issues look at that so I'm just gonna go forward 8 meters per second very nice speed we are going forward I'm just gonna focus the antennas towards the drone 46% battery there's a big tree in front of me sorry if my camera was always hanging to the right but man, it's cold I don't know which thing to do and which thing to control look at my hair it's just really messy man but I'm glad I'm getting long hair now huh handsome looking hair mashallah <laughs> okay still going 44% battery left flying over the river no problems at all with the signals control and video signals USB disconnected okay what happens I can see the raindrops man USB disconnected okay I'll just fly until here 
that's nice I'm just gonna hit return to home just to test from 689 meters it will return properly or not okay so I'll leave the video recording ah it's really cold and it's started raining and you can see my beautiful hair now Alhamdulillah mashallah they are growing well man I'm flying in Hudson Ace Pro in raining light raining I mean this we have to give to Hudson you're watching it it's performing in rain is it coming back yeah it's still coming back so people uh, you have watched this initial testing of Hudson Ace Pro you have watched the uh, videos pictures and whatever testing I could do everything is right there in front of you I'm not fixing anything I have shown you what's working what's not working okay still coming back I can see that now if you want to take a decision whether to buy hubs and ace pro or not I will say hold your horses let me do more testing let more reviewers get the quad and do reviews and then you make an informed decision see everything and after that make a very very informed decision but for my video today you have seen I'm flying it in rain and whatever happened I put it on the camera right there also notice that uh, Hubson you have to do something about active tracking is still not good Hubson Xeno Mini SE has the best active tracking so far I can tell you that as a best so far for active tracking that thing tracked me on an electric scooter even at night so that's the best so far but Xeno Mini Pro Ace Pro is back hi uh, Hubson you have to improve the active tracking especially if you have given us the parallel active tracking this means the drone has to fly parallel if you have given us orbit tracking you have to make sure drone has enough speed to do orbit all right and also time by time I'm having I'm having USB disconnected glitch are you landing on my head no I'm having time by time USB disconnected glitch but it's not actually doing anything wrong I can it's, I still have the video video did not disconnect just the control got disconnected for a few for a slight second not few seconds for a slight second behind I had the control back and I kept flying I mean I didn't have any serious issue there so please look into that the USB disconnecting issue please look into active track and make it more better apart from that you have watched everything is working very good I would say look at that look at that, how much water is there on the drone right uh, the motors do not have because the propellers just you know moving the water around camera has some drops top have hey you can fly it in slight rain how cool is that so thank you very much for watching this video give this video a big thumb up stay subscribed to my channel hit that little bell icon make sure you turn on all the notifications so you stay updated for the upcoming videos of testing this and a whole lot more very very exciting stuff is coming your way all right time to go to my car turn on the heater and get myself warm oh look at that raindrops raindrops look at that raindrops come on you know what to do hit that like button it's right there I know you can do it oh while you're at it also hit the subscribe button right there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button right there.